Yo, yo, welcome to Team Red Titan. Uh, Gio here, Alex is... Uh, I'm actually here. Apparently. Yeah, he's here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a you know room tour. It's a bit overdue. It's been a little while. I can't remember the last time I did it. Probably about six, eight months ago. Thank you. Uh, I got asked by, uh, I can't remember what was his name. Is it David... Chris Hay, or David Hay, something like that. Anyway, Chris, there's a Chris Hay. Yeah, Chris Hay, I think it was. There's he, no David Hay. Yeah, well, there is a David Hay, oh, but a boxer. I, I wish he asked me, but he didn't ask me. Um, but Chris Hay, I think, said to me, like, can you do a room tour? And I was like, yeah, it's overdue. I need to do it. We'll do our, mine, and then we'll get on to Alex's uh, later on. So it's now November 2019, so let's go. I've opened everything up already for you so that we don't have to waste too much time doing that. Um, as uh, as Andy Fusco told me when he came around recently, he said, actually, it looks a lot bigger on TV. And I thought that was a bit of a dig. So, fuck you, Andy. No, I'm doing... <laughs> <laughs> so, come straight ahead. We'll, women uh... say that as well. About huh? Women, women. Say, women say that. Yeah. 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 About you? Yes. Yeah. yeah, probably. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll... we'll uh, you can just... But if you want to pan across, you can. But what we'll do is we'll start with the detox here. Um, a lot of people get, you know, ask me lots of questions about like how I set these up and, you know, how it works. So I'll go through it briefly, quickly with you. Um, a lot of people are like panicking about weight and things like that in these things. But if you take the right precautions, you shouldn't really have any problems. As you can see in mine, um, it may look a little bit strange to you because you'll either see usually two in them or four smaller pieces instead yeah. of the three so what me and alex do is we've alex used and alex and i forgive me apologies apologies alex and i terrible grammar alex and i use these uh these are six millimeter u-bolts here and we put them on all four of these welded um frames also and they're known as cable clamps yes known as cable clamps too wire clamps cable clamps and basically then you have a four point fail safe that they would all need to actually collapse all at once, which is impossible. That this thing is not going anywhere at all. And what I've done is I've used double the, the glass. So the, the same glass you get standard with the detox, you should receive one, two, three, four panes of glass with it for shelving, because there's four shelves. One, two, three. Three, three? do you only get three? Yeah. Shit, how come I've got so many? Okay, three. Oh, that's because I've used two there. Wait, 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 wait. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? I lit on the lights. No, 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 no. Oh, you, there you, go. you, you fool. Don't <laughs> lean on anything. Don't touch anything. Okay, so I've used two panes of glass here and then I've basically used rubber um, stops, little yeah. rubber dots. You can pick them up. You know, any, any even supermarkets like Asda's, yeah, Walmart, um, any, all them places have them. In America, you're pretty looking at them like Michael's. So yeah, the it, things like, um, they're just little rubber dots. And I put five, one on each corner and then one in the middle, just to give a little bit of a cushion in between the panels. You give me an Ikea as yeah. uh, door stops. So, yeah. And you also get them on eBay. With so you know, like with, with, like with these U-bolts, you can pretty much, you can have any sort of display you want in these yeah. detox. You can go three, you can go the standard four that they give you, or you can go two, or you could you could do whatever. I mean, I've seen people with actually a figure and then maybe like a, you know, like a blue, even a Blu-ray on a short shelf and then another figure. And vice, I mean, there's so many things you can do. Yeah. So let's well, get on to... The last one, sorry. Also people, when um, a lot of these give out, that's it what can you worry be about the world. That. That's the so, world. So yeah, um, someone like uh, Kevin Andalino, he actually puts them underneath every one of these. Not a bad so idea. If you're use, using this shelf, then yeah, you can or, put them underneath here, there. Yeah, the if you're ones. using that one, then you definitely put them underneath there. That's a great idea from Kevin, but Kevin's not exactly stupid. So we'll... Um, okay, so let's start. Uh, we'll start up at the top. So um, we have the Sideshow Collectibles Bane Premium Format. Um, this is actually just regular. I picked this up a while ago. It's one of, for me. It's one of the strongest DC pieces, you know, out there, along with the Lobo. I, I actually really love this piece. Um, he's deceptively massive. Very big. You know, really is deceptive. I mean, you think, oh, I thought he would go into one of these details, but there's no way <laughs> yeah. he does not go. And he's super heavy. Very nice piece. Very well done. Martin Canal sculpt, so you can't go wrong. Really stunning work. They did a fantastic job. I mean, the freckled on the shoulders, and the skin, uh, skin kind tone, of, yeah. you know, captures like. Um, 
a kind of like steroid steroided up look. Oh, you mean like orange on, peel look? on the sculpt? Yeah, yeah, they have. It's got an orange peel type of sculpt. It is very much like that. I think the the, the skin tone on the paint, factory paint on this, is actually very very good. Mm. As far as uh, sideshow collectibles go, that it's the factory paint is where a lot of things fall on her ass. But this was actually done very very well. So big fan, great piece. Uh, I have the. Um, Green with MV, Poison Ivy. Can you hear my son? Screaming. He's going, playing with his playing with his nan and granddad in there. So, yeah, I mean, there's a Poison Ivy Green with MV. It's actually one of my favourite female pieces. Stanley, Stanley Lau, uh, or Art otherwise known as Art Germ. Yeah, he's uh, based off his art. And uh, actually, he's when it comes to female statues, he's pretty much my favourite. Every piece I sort of like, and I, I don't know why I like it, I find out that it's based off his art or it's it's got one. something to do with him involved. I think XM Phoenix, the original one. Yeah, I do um, like that too. Morrigan. Morrigan, um, stunning piece, yeah. The new Mai from... Uh, yeah, Mai, yeah, 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 very nice uh, as well. You know, there's quite a few pieces. Yeah. So then when you... So this is my little DC sort of bit along with the... Uh, this is the premium format. This is the Joker. It's actually the regular, but I got the custom um, sort of... Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to remember who that head sculpt is from. Mad X. Yeah, it was Mad oh, X. But I'm try yeah, it's Troy McDevitt. Well done. It's Troy McDevitt. He's fantastic. Uh Troy McDevitt has actually sculpted one of my all-time favourite pieces, which is probably one of the few. I mean, I've sold probably, I don't, couldn't even tell you. I mean, I've sold over 100 pieces. I only regret selling like less than five. Mm. Uh, Fury of the Beast is one of them. That's... Mm. Truman Nevitz sculpt. Yeah. yeah, I mean this, and also I've got the, uh, I can't remember what that comic is called at the back of there. Um, as well. The family, no? No, it's not. End game or it's end something. I can't really remember what it's called, but you know the one where he's in the chair and it's yeah. all built off the uh, you know all the villains and all the people are f like sitting on them all. It's actually the the face is similar to that. It's got the slick back hair and the crazy look. I just I really like that that head sculpt. It's well, funny because I actually really like the the regular head sculpt as well that you get with it. Even funnier thing about that was the fact that at the time um, that cover, which I oh, will probably try and get a, a, an image from um, and put it on there because it's, it's too glary to get, but. Um, there was a time when like four four different either customs or licensed companies were going to make it. No None of them, them got made. None of them did. No, no it's not no. come out. No, no, it's true. And then below that, you have the uh, the Lobo um, Premium Format Exclusive from Sideshow. These are all, so far all of these pieces are all Sideshow collectibles at the moment. Uh, Lobo again. Actually, Lobo is one of my favourite yeah. pieces in my collection. Actually, I've never um, switched up the head. You know that. Never. Me either. I, I haven't either. kept him exactly this way. I love the dreaded head. Again, it's another Frank Canal sculpt. I mean, it, the, the, the mixed Martin. media on it. Martin Canal, sorry, yeah, Martin Canal. It's late, and I've uh, I've I've been out for lunch. I didn't have any beer, so I've got no excuse there. But yeah, I mean, it's one of my favourite pieces, and with the dog and everything. As I mean, there are more Lobos coming out now. XM have done a fantastic one on the bike, and you know, Prime One have done a, a really nice one, third one. But for me, you know, for how much space it takes and how well it's done, it's one of my favourite pieces. It is, it's, it's one of my favourites. And my wife loves it as well, so it helps. Uh, then you move on. I've got the an X-Men sort of run going down this way. This is the Tiago Pravin. Um, Don't they light up? No, 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 no. They're not. Oh, they're not plugged in at all. So you can, I mean, uh, you've got Tiago Pravin, um, Beast Mode Wolverine here. This is a custom piece. Um, very, very, very nice piece. It was uh, this was painted by e Ian Wilkinson for me. Uh, it actually was professionally painted when I received it, but I thought this I thought the paint was shit, so I uh, I had Ian sort it out for me. I wasn't happy with the paint that was on it at all. Um, comes with two heads, a masked one. I mean, the thing is with this, this is a real jacked up Wolverine, so you know, you've I mean, he is in scale in terms of height because the figure is only around 15.2 inches. Very so the, the piece itself from top to bottom is only about 16 inches. Um, but he's it's a nice it's a nice sculpt. This a beautiful sculpt, and I, I kind of dig the pose a lot. So big fan. Uh, so Tiago Pravin killed it on that. Really killed it, and I love that face sculpt as well. Um, bit Clint Eastwood like. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's just it's, there's something about it. I just dig it. And then uh, you've got the Gambit Premium Format. This is just a regular. Um, I picked this up really very reasonable from my friend uh, Johnny Meddins. So check his channel out. It's Marvel Meddins uh, on YouTube. Great guy. Uh, good friend of ours. Been a friend for a long time. I got this from him. And uh, yeah, and I actually got the same thing can be said for the bottom. She's actually only a um, she's only a space. Sit down for that one, I'm afraid. She's a space holder. The Mystique comicette from Sideshow. So all actually everything here other than the Wolverine is all Sideshow wow, collectibles. She's well dark. 
Yeah, man, that's 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 one dark bitch. Yeah, man, she's like really. She's her, she's so blue. She's black. <laughs> she's yeah. like she's like a hot mama. She's a, has but, it been repainted? No, that's the standard paint. Wow. I actually got this project. I got this off John. It didn't come with a box. I actually got this really reasonably priced, but um, I was going to get it repainted and reworked and lots of things added and done to it. But um, in the end, I just it wasn't. I just couldn't really be bothered. Um, I'm going to put the XM Cyclops in there. So that'll be the, you know, that'll be where I go with that. Yeah. So I thought that was probably the better idea to do at the time I was considering it. Let's close them up. Uh, yeah. If you, do you want to come? Or you want to we'll go, go that way, we we'll finish here. All right, fine. Okay, so top, you have the XM Studios Venom. Um, this is still the best Venom on the market for me. There's been lots of customs and lots of things. They still haven't touched this. This is still the best. Um, you know, I mean, no piece is perfect. It's got some sloppy paint on the base, but everything else is just absolutely top. It's crazy, crazy good piece. And then I love pairing it with this Sideshow Collectibles Spider-Man comic kit. That's the exclusive, so you get the print with it. You know, the only benefit of really buying the X is that it's a very low edition. I think it's like 300 or something stupid like that. Quite hard to get in there because of the glare, I'm afraid. Yeah, but it's all glassed up in it. All my stuff. We've done all reviews on every single piece in here, pretty much. So yeah. apart from a few, yeah, handful which needs to be You've done. Also got a little uh, apple there. Yeah, my mate Alex sorted out this apple. Yeah, my boy. Yeah, I think I thanks for it. Man. Yes, you don't really lie. And then behind <laughs> you have the CGC comic there, which is the is this that is three. No, you know it's not. It's number eleven. I don't know who it's by actually. I'm not sure who the art is by up there. Who does it say? It's one of my uh, favourites. It's a Verge. It's actually really Jay, rare. I think there's 500 in the world printed. I can let it. Yeah. And then you've got the... Uh, who them, them? They're like a slab stands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's... Uh, yeah, the slab stands, which are uh, by Nate. So uh, I'll put a link down there below. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll um, promote that because he's done a really good job. We've got uh, the Venom one and Rad Titan one. Uh, I got the Silver Surfer one, I got the Hulk 181, and uh, George got the got Infinity, it, yeah, one, Infinity Gauntlet. Gauntlet. In the so you got, I got Spider Man coin it's over slab, there. It's not Slab City, it's uh, no, it's not Slab City, but yeah, I'll, I'll put the link in there anyway. So I like to put coins with pieces if I have them, Oops, and I also stole this uh, nice metal. Uh, Coaster from Alex, I can put the heads on there. Oh, yeah, I just, coaster, yeah. yeah, that is your coaster. It says hot underneath it, <laughs> and it is hot. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, hot properly. You can fit if you want. Yeah, cocksucker. <laughs> and then I go. So then, then you over here, yeah, you can enjoy. Just get, <sighs> get a good angle of that. So then, what it's I have with all these windows and then, yeah, the lights all glare and. Just turn the brightness down. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, so uh, here we have, this is going to take a while. Okay, um, so what we have here is the uh, Doom on Throne exclusive by Sideshow Collectibles. It's the original premium format piece. is about 15 years old. It's a OG sort of grail piece and, um, you know, sculpted by the Gore Group team. And it's, it's the first, I think, premium format villain. Um, you well, know, it's, Marvel, it's, Marvel um, villain. It's hard to know, really, because I know around the, the beginning there was um, Hellboy... There was a Green Goblin, there was Doctor Doom, and there was um, uh, all fantastic Logan. pieces as well. Uh, Logan, yeah, yeah. I thought we didn't like Logan. No, I've, and, I've, it's, um, a, it's a good in, in person. It's a very yeah, nice so piece. There was those four pieces, and then I think, I think Doctor Doom came out first to order, but I think Green Goblin came out first in hand. But I'm potentially maybe wrong. Maybe wrong. Potentially more. Most and Logan wrong. was the first Marvel hero. All right, so that's the exclusive and you get the pedestal with it, it, with the wine uh, chalice on there. Uh, very nice piece. Actually quite heavy as well, really heavy. What all comes as one piece. Fantastic uh, bit of kit that really, really good. Picked that up recently. I'm very happy with that. It was the sort of last sort of big, big ticket item I've been after for a while. And then the Thanos is actually is my favourite piece in my entire collection. This is my... This is my absolute, you know, this is my peak piece for me. This was, uh, this is XM Studios Thanos. Um, it's been repainted by... Uh, I was going to say, go and get in there a little bit if you want. Have no, that's in fine. <laughs> it's uh, been repainted by Ian Wilkinson. Um, <clears throat> it's got the custom sort of glove on it by um, some fool. And then the, the base is, the, I'm not even going to mention him because he's a bellend. Um, the base it was sent to me by Rebecca Fink, and so was the gauntlet. So that's the only reason I'm mentioning that. 
Um, but she sent them to me. She's she's just the wonderful person. You mm. probably know her on YouTube from Cisco. Cisco. You know, she's she her subs have gone absolutely mental, but it couldn't happen to a better person. She's the most lovely she's one of my person. Favorite people, right? Yeah, definitely. Same for me. She's absolutely lovely. She she sent this to me. Um, you know, she didn't even charge. She just I just paid shipping and she sent it to what I mean, what a love I mean, you can't I mean, I was ready to pay as you know, whatever she asked. And they're they're red, there's only like fifty of them. So the base is a custom base with all the you know, you get the you know the Iron Man head and the Thor hammer, and you get you know the Silver Surfer smashed board, and you get all that sort of business and the shield. And uh, I've added a uh, Drax the Destroyer blade to it. I also got the uh, the coin from the film, the Infinity War film, which I'm really happy with. And then I've got a custom uh, Mistress Death. So I think the reason why I like this piece so much is so many other elements have been added to it to make it to personalize it uh, to make it what I wanted. And it took a lot of work, you know. I also had a, a custom a head uh, sculpted of, um, you know, Thanos wins the Donny Cates run, um, which I have. I should really have that on there f for this video, but uh, I, uh, we did this very ad hoc. So just like, yeah, let's do as it now. Do. As we do. Let's do it now before we go. Um, bottom, is that everything in there? I've got those sort of comics either side and stuff like that, just covers yeah. that I like. So you've got a Delot all over in that side, and then you've got the... Uh, uh, I can't remember the, I think that's Midtown variant yeah. over there. Um, Thanos one, so cool. Because I was making a thing of that. And then I got Infinity Gauntlet over there yeah, with yeah. the uh, slab stand thing as well, which is really nice. Looks all that, 9 8, nice. Yeah, not bad. So then the bottom one, I have the XM Studios Magneto on Throne and the XM Studios Cable. Um, again, with the cable I've added to it. Um, you know, there. I think it's Zing, is it Zing? Zing Designs, I think it is, yeah. Zing Designs is the guy that I got the um, cloak, uh, the, you know, and the teddy bear from. Uh, they're, fa they're fantastic quality, actually. They're very good quality stuff, very thick, and, you know, the battle damage is really nice. Got big, thick wires in it, and it's very well made. Um, and I think it really adds to that cable. I think mixed media really just adds something to it. Yeah. And that teddy bear is fantastic. The uh, decapitated apocalypse head is from Mad X. They actually come with a set that go with the Magneto on throne. And if you're wondering why the Magneto on throne has a funny head on it, that is the Mad X um, Age of Apocalypse custom head. And then if you look to the right of Magneto, I've used Gambit's pole. And if you look to the left of Magneto, you can see the red sort of Maramus, sword. Maramus, yeah, it's Maramasi, um, Maramasi um, blade, which is the which comes with the Wolverine uh, custom that I've got at the top. That actually is like a you know it's an immortal blade that's got part of Wolverine's soul inside it, which means that if you cut someone with it, they don't ever heal. So, um, and then you've got the two coins, the the coin that comes with the Magneto, and that is a custom coin. Uh, of the cable, there was a whole bunch of them that came out that they started making um, after XM stopped doing the coins. So that's that's the cable one, which is just exactly the same as the other. The only thing that's missing is a little Marvel bit in the in the inside of the thing. Other than that, it's like, almost identical. The red Titans here in the back. Of course, yeah, red Titans yeah. yeah, red Titans stand. It goes with the red of the Magneto. Sometimes OCD can be very beneficial. <laughs> and then there's the uh, that's uh, cable. I think number one is it number one variant. Uh, Jim Lee. Is it number three? Yeah. Oh, good one. Yeah. So we've got that variant, which is okay. nice. I'll get up then, I guess. Yeah, I guess you better do some work now, dude. <laughs> I'll let you go. Okay, so get up to the top here. And I have the Aaron Ray Perez. Uh, uh, Aaron Ray Perez. This is the dead portion, the red version. This is deadliest mercenary um, statue, which... You know, if anybody knows anything about Aaron Ray Perez, I'm a big fan. He's one of the best traditional sculptors in the world. For me, I just love his work. I love the detail and the things that he can put on things. I'm a big fan of his stuff. So, you know, we're always a big fan. There's the unmasked head there that comes with the exclusive. I think actually Aaron ended up giving them to everybody. The uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I think it was meant to be an exclusive. I think he just... He's like that. Though. He's just yeah. like, fuck it, everyone should have one. So he just made them for everyone. But you got the unmasked sort of, you know... Yeah, I'll show you. That's it. It's pretty best if you don't hold it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. But very nice. And then you have the old the old mask thing you put over his head. Because this guy's got a hard hard day there, he's got a fucking saliva and all that. 
Who has? Oh yeah, the sliced guy. Yeah, that's just so brutal. It's funny because Georgie really loves that one. <laughs> and Jenny's like, why can't you like the ones that got not so gory? Uh. All right, so then you get onto the other side, which is, this is a Mad X custom. This is a saber tooth piece. Um, again, this came painted. I got this from- It's Troy McDavid as well. Yes, it, this is actually Troy McDavid. Um, this came painted and I bought it from Marcus Chow. Um, he's a nice guy. And I didn't like the paint at all. So I had it repainted by Ian Wilkinson, who absolutely fucking killed this for me. He just absolutely murdered this piece. There's only 38 of these pieces in the world, 38 ever made. It took me a long time to get that information because nobody knows how many there were. So I had to go get it directly from the horse's mouth. And he had to check it and look. It got back to me and said, yeah, 38. So it's like, boom. Um, but I'm a big fan of that. That's one of my favourite pieces actually in here is that sabre tooth. I know that it's not last level and it doesn't have all the stitching details and it doesn't have like microscopic hairs that you can see through his suit, digital details, but there's something in that. There's something in that sculpt that's just raw and right off the comic well, book. There is I'm a big fan with, about with, it. Um, traditional sculpt. I mean, with when I was in New York Comic Con, um, the one piece that XM has at the moment for, for pre-order is the Batman Bloodstorm. And that's the only traditional sculpt piece they had. And there was something about that that really, really grew on me over the time. Just something about when you look at the traditional sculpt. Yeah, I can understand that. Well, I have the same, I have the same affliction, so I, I get it. Okay, so then when you move down, I have this is the most recent piece I acquired, which is the this is Vision from Alpha Free Studios. Uh, I think it's Mark DeMello is the uh, is the main guy there, um, and he's just he's just a lovely guy. I've been talking to him; he's been helping me try and find one of these, sending me the measurements so I could get it. I actually bought this off Andy Fusco. Um, very recently and uh, I hadn't been you know I haven't been talking I hadn't been talking to him for a long time so this piece has actually um, started us actually speaking again which I think it will add some more sentimental value over time really um, it's always good when things like that can happen so um, I, I was really impressed with it I think the base is I think the base paint is a little bit poor some of the color choices are poor but I think the figure is exceptional I think it's absolutely exceptional the sculpt is insane portraits bang on point it's got a fantastic light up as well but uh, i don't have wires and things like that going through statues that are on display anyway one of the bad things about details i guess yeah but i wouldn't anyway even if i wouldn't put it on there even if it was in the in the wall so okay so then when you go just below there i've got the uh, sideshow collectibles thor premium format exclusive this is the first one again another one of the og pieces that i really really wanted when i started collecting um got off I, mike, no? I got it off mike wells yes i did uh one of my very earliest deals i drove up to see him and, and picked it up it's one of the pieces that you really shouldn't ship if you if you can avoid yeah. it because the cape is actually a real fabric cape that's then been casted over the top of the fabric um, um, which is just is suicide because it, it is actually the cape is attached to it you don't clip it in you, it doesn't remove um so i remember it, emperor saying that Omar. yeah he was saying about that i was like what are you talking about when you see yeah, it in yeah, person yeah, you yeah. know it it's why it's a it's a very original cape you, as soon as you see it it's very different than anything else obviously i've got the coins and things like that i like adding them in and then I have the XM Studios Classic Iron Man. It's one of my favourite Iron Man pieces. I love their Mark Seven. I love Sideshow's Mark Six, but I really wanted this one. The um, new Sideshow one looks really good in person. The, with all the light the ups new and Mark shit. Yeah, it looks, looks great. Really it good. looks great. Yeah, There's, yeah. It's just it's, like, it's really busy. It just looks really busy to me. Um, and there's something about the Mark Six that I really like. Like other than I think. Iron Man, this classic is my favourite Iron Man piece. And I think if I had to say, you know, if there had to be another one, if I could have another one, it would definitely be the Mark VI from Sideshow. I think that's, there's some elegance. I prefer Mark VII. No, from uh, what are you, from XM? Yeah. No, no, no way. I much prefer that. I, I didn't Mark used to. Six, Do you know what's funny? I, I didn't used I to. I took out the Mark VI to sell recently or to think about selling. No chance. You I took it out, stuck it on my kitchen side, gave it a little wipe over, made sure the light ups worked. And uh, probably put it back, put it, put it in its own cube, <laughs> definitely. So it took it out of the detail. It was your, it was you putting yours in the display that may has tipped it for me now. Though I actually think the yeah. Mark Six, well, where it's on its own now, yeah. I just yeah. thought the Mark, and when I saw it like that, I was like, that Mark Six is special, really special. So I'm a big fan of that. But I mean, this more comic, this is more me. So, uh, yeah, I really like this. Love the paint, love the two head sculpts, really nice. And then you have the um, Sentinel of Liberty, Captain America. 
that poor bastard's been moved about a couple of times in this detox. He's, been, he's occupied a few spaces. Yeah. But um, it was between him and Vision, this top left, and I, I had to put Vision up there just for, uh, you know, for presence and colour and s such. It's a nice piece. It's a more simple piece, museum-esque, but... Pick this up quite cheap now. Yeah, you can. It's worth every penny that you yeah. can... I think you can get it for like four or five hundred quid. It's worth every penny of that. So many sorts. It's a 25, 26 inches tall. You know, you get that fantastic uh, museum-like base which uh, you know has all the the war sort of things on it you know all the all the battles like memorial and yeah it's like just it's just beautiful you get you know three head sculpts two shields very nice very nice piece indeed Oh, your house of m there is that yeah, the house it, of x sorry yeah it's the you know it's the powers of x and the house of x stuff uh, i've just I've got, I've got, i'm going i mean that's really the next Ooh. sort of cgc bundle i've sort of gone into well we won't spit. this um this actually here, a lot of people ask on some of the videos what this is. This is actually a portable magazine stand. No, I had one of these in my old office. Yeah, I wicked that. It. You should have taken it. Yeah. It basically know. folds all the way yeah, down yeah. and fits into a little box. Yeah, but yeah. it's really decent because you can actually put comics on the inside, which I do. You can just put them sort of, so when you're sitting down, you can see comics everywhere, yeah. which is it's, it's quite nice. I'm all over there as well with CGCs. Yeah, these are all the oh, CG. My, my, these are all my CGC boxes. So, you, but this is the uh, this is the faux bronze Thanos. This is the first piece I ever got. Yeah, yeah. ever ever got this was my wife bought this for me. It's my first ever statue, and it will. I think I'll bury get buried with this. I'm buried. Yeah, do this is the XM Studios coin that comes with it. This is the I think this is the New York. No, this is the San Diego gauntlet pin. Um, as well, I've got a couple of Marvel masterpiece cards behind it, which I really dig. I just yeah. love them cards a lot. And then I have. The uh, Bowen Designs um, Apocalypse. Apocalypse, yeah. I mean, this is sculpted by the Kucherak brothers. And for me, this is still the best Apocalypse made. Nice. There's loads of customs, loads of companies try to do it. It still doesn't touch this. It's still the best well, Bowen, one. with their comic accuracy. I just think this is bang on. Some of the best. This is just yeah, something that's something. absolutely bang on. So, I mean, look, right. you can sort of like, go like that. Let's have a look. Brilliant. Uh, there you go. Just look. There. Is that better? Yeah, no, I, <laughs> <laughs> I have them sort of identical, sort of slightly. Be, to... you're going to have a fucking OCD fit later. Yeah, well, let's have a look. Does it work? Ah! No, it's all right, fine. <laughs> all right, it'll just come down. I've got a couple Freeze. of CGCs behind there as well. So I've got the Stanley Tribute Apocalypse one, and I've got the Silver. Yeah. You know, the universe according to Thanos, which I really mm. like. That's one of my favourite covers when we were growing up. Yeah, mine too. Then you drop down a level, and I have oh, the. Yeah. Hello, sweetie. All right. I remember you. This is the. Got my sloppy seconds. This is the negative zone Spider Man. Um, this is the premium format, just the regular. It's been repainted again by Ian Wilkinson in the negative zone colours. There's something about this pose that I really love. I always have about the premium <coughs> format. I think it's what I think it's one of the best Spider Man pieces out there. Really. Should have kept that crane piece. Yeah, mm -hmm. you should have kept yeah, it. Just the green pieces, I think. Yeah, I really like the whole thing. The paint job on it is exceptional, and I really love the white and the black really pops. And yeah. I've got it mixed in with the uh, Carnage Comic Care. Well, I want to go back over this a little while because I had this one. Okay, I yeah, had this you, one you, repainted. You, you did. And um, I think George took advantage of the fact that I was like jet lagged and uh, kind of got this off me. But this one, I mean, yeah, it's got all the kind of rust all under here, and this as well has all been repainted, and uh, also the smoke. As well, it looks which, so much better. It, it's funny because it's much really simpler pop. paint on the smoke, but it yeah, now yeah, looks yeah. like smoke. Yeah. It doesn't look like tiger loaf bread, yeah. which is half of the battle. And then there's the carnage there. Still one of my favourite sculpts of all time. I still can't work out where all the tendrils go. Martin Canal, again, Gore Group, again, for me, one of the best statues ever. I mean, ever. I wouldn't sell, I'm telling you now, no word of a lie, I wouldn't sell this statue for two grand. I would. You would, because you could pick, you can pick this pick up, up for four or five hundred quid. Yeah. But I would not sell this. That's how highly I rate it. I think it you is. Have the print. You got the print. I do got that. I got the exclusive. But I, I, there's something about this that I, I've, I've been blessed in my life, in my collecting life, that I have been all over the world. I've seen statues made by ev like everybody, and I'm telling you, if I, if this is one of the top five sculpts I've ever, I've ever seen. The detailing on it, the the in, in, <coughs> intricate parts, I think it's an absolutely amazing piece, and I would never part with it. Never. I think Mike Well sold this for like four four fifty five hundred quid recently, and I I, 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 I wanted to slap him so I bought, one, I bought one recently for four forty. 
exclusive. Yeah, that's an amazing deal. I mean, it's worth, if you can get it for that, get it, because it is yeah. worth every penny of that. It is really, really special. He's massive, he's jacked. All of those things are completely right. But he fits in, he's fits in a good space. He fits in lots of spaces, yeah. I've got the... Um, I think I've got my little detail. I think that's Scarn, isn't it? Scarn variant, uh, Absolute yeah, yeah, Carnage. Yeah, yeah, I do have the Bagley one, which is rarer, but the rarer sort of variants I tend to keep. Safe. Gone from uh, Hive Studios. Yeah, so and then you variants. drop, you drop down again. And I have the um, pop, pop. I have the Pop Culture Shock um, Sagat. I think that's just the regular. I got this off. Uh, what's his name? I got it off uh, Joe. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got it off Joe. Joe's a cracking lad. Um, he didn't want to sell it to me. I had to twist his arm for a while to get <laughs> it. It's been one of them pieces again since I started collecting. I've always wanted it. Um, big fan of Sagat, and I love the um, sculpt on this. I mean, I people are going on accurate. about how great the. Um, Pop Culture Shock Akuma was. This this one's much better. Yeah. The Saga is much better than the Akuma. Yeah, I agree. There's no competition there. No, I totally agree. We saw them on the same day, didn't we, for the first we time? Did. We did. We reviewed yeah. them both side. We, had we them saw side the by super side. rare, like... Um, you know, all singing, or dancing, um, Akuma. What's it called? Um, Shin. Shin, yeah. Yeah. Nah, this is much better, yeah. superior, but in every way. And then I, uh, I, I picked this up recently... Um, which was the, um, the prototypes Akuma. This is the quarter scale. This is the Shin Akuma. Um, uh, I, I actually think this this piece is exceptional. Just just like his, the Ryu that is the counterpart for it. I think them two statues are absolutely amazing. Eric Sosa did a fantastic job. Um, there's no doubt about that. It's a really really nice piece. I mean, obviously the I think the ba the, the base paintwork is shit. Uh, that I don't know what that's meant to be. If that's meant to be fire coming through there, uh, yeah, I don't know if it is. It looks like fucking spaghetti oops to me. It looks like you're standing on spaghetti oops, and he, someone's burnt it. I mean, it's not great. The base part's not great, but when you start talking about because wasn't the right one just floorboards? It, yeah, it was. Yeah, but that was better. Yeah, the base yeah, on that yeah, it was better. This yeah. this needs repainting and uh, fixing because obviously these uh, elements, the the cracked tile part or the ground, or whatever it's meant to be, maybe volcano, whatever it is, yeah. it just looks really sloppy. Um, but when you move up to the figure. The sculpt is insane, and the, and it's actually really well painted. The the ghee and the ropes and the, and the whole the skin tones, yeah. the back um, top knot. No, not the top knot, but the um, the the, uh, the the ganji on his back. The, can, oh, the kanji yeah. on his back uh, is really really well done. The musculature on it is insane. It is a very very beautiful sculpt by Eric Sosa. There, there's no doubt about it. Um, you know. You got the other one. You can just about see it just behind yeah, the glass yeah. there. You can, I've got the. That's the other um, torso that you get with the piece. Yeah. Um, it's actually. Well, no, I can't see it because you're close to the door. So I, I pull this out for you so you can see this. Okay. So there they are. There he is. Big as well. There's a the back. Yeah, it's deceptive. But then you've got the other one, which is there, uh, which is with the gear, and obviously that just sits on his waist. Yeah. And you can have that instead, but I like. And then obviously you've got the different type of gloves and. Yeah. Um, instead of the ropes, but it's, this is again is is magnificent. It is actually a really exceptional piece, and uh, prototypes did a cracking job with it. Really good job. I mean, I've thought about so many times about sort of like displaying it next to, it, but it's just they're so big, it takes yeah, yeah. up so much room. So that was definitely a that was definitely a no. And I've had many times Alex says to me I should get rid of this, but Casual. this cabinet is OG. This is this is a cabinet when I first started collecting. I bought it. I got it for a hundred pound, and uh, it's worth a lot more than that. It's like an antique cabinet, so I'm quite quite fond of it. Okay, uh, one of we're getting towards the end now. Oh, look at my awards! <laughs> yes, all my awards. <laughs> <laughs> yes, up there, part of place. Where are yours? I gave them to Carrie. <laughs> did you gave one to carry yeah. oh you're so sweet okay so then Gary's we have like, I can't say no to him you know yeah. comes across like little you know, he's, he's not stupid but he comes across no like he, little, he, he plays fucking, silly he though, plays silly he plays he stupid he plays silly stupid. buggers and he comes along comes across like a like slightly a retarded kid. puppy but he knows exactly like, what he's oh, doing can I, can I get one of them it'll go really nice next to my thing I'll just, just take it Gary fuck's sake yeah well, he's 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 worked off a rad time. He probably he's earned one. Fair play to him. Right, this is the uh, this is the Red Hulk premium format. This is the exclusive by Sideshow Collectibles. This again has been repainted by Ian Wilkinson, and I've got to give a massive shout out to my boy Lee Everington as well for the base parts because he he did his up like that, and I was like, wow, that's really something. He's like, do you want me to send you some stuff? And 
I was like, you know, yeah, I was like, fucking hell, man, really? Like, you, you know, you want, I'll copy your idea, and, you know, I'll probably make your idea look better, in fairness. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, man, I'll send it. And he did, he sent them to me. I sent him some comics and stuff like that, but, you know, what, this is uh, what they... Um, Blinoff. Yeah, he, Blinoff, uh, Stephen Blinoff sent me that rifle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that rifle's like 30 quid, you know. Like 30, well, 35 asked him, pounds. I asked him where to buy it from. You fucking didn't even respond it don't, Well, to you it. know what I mean? You have your fans, and you have your friends, and I have mine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they don't offer mix. <laughs> they either <laughs> like you and like and hate yeah. me, or vice versa. That's why we're such a good team. But, um, yeah, he, Stephen Blinoff sent me that rifle, and it came in like... I'm, do you know, it took me... It took me longer to put that rifle together than it did to put this whole statue together and all the base <laughs> elements. That that took me absolutely ages that to put that together because it all arrives in tiny little pieces. You get a little screwdriver that's like the size of a pin. <laughs> you have to like, screw like, it uh, together. Good job I weren't involved in that shit. Yeah, it was a good thing you weren't here. Yeah, but, you know, I'm really happy with this. He did a fantastic job painting it. You know, you can go and have a little... Look at all the. I mean, the red's been Spiral completely. Too, right? The red's been completely remastered. It's a completely different color than it was. So you know, glare. really thick shading on there. Some really good work on that. Unfortunately, well, this is what happens when you have glass units. These are all your CGCs all lined all over the place. So well, yeah, I got four. Moment, I got four boxes and all of these boxes too. Yeah, at the moment, I mean, these these boxes like here will hold around twenty five CGCs. So he's got four of those. And he's got these couple of half boxes here. Well, there, you can get about 15 in there. Yeah, so... Uh, and he's but look, one there, so. I'll show you, because I had to... Rem I've removed a few out of here to be re-slabbed, but I just slap pull. Oh, look at that! Look at that little it's baby Donny there. Gates. Bit of Donny Gates, sign number one, 9.8. Gates. Is Gates. You said Gates. Do I? You did. It's a slip of the old tongue, Freudian slip. <laughs> yeah, but I, I just picked this one up, actually. It's quite a nice little cover. Yeah. Got a couple of signed bits. I'm actually starting to get more into signed things at the moment. That's coming yeah. really expensive, dude. Uh, it does get really expensive. It's especially. fucking well expensive. I didn't, this wasn't expensive, though. Especially, it the, um, especially if they're dead. Especially yeah, that doesn't help. I mean, I, I searched uh, Jack Kirby, but finding something signed by him is quite hard. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. yeah. Stan Lee, get loads and loads. Yeah, Kirby. When did Kirby die? 90s, though. Oh! Yeah. The lotto, yeah. It's quite a sloppy signature of his. This is not quite crisp. No, that's how they look. He's, uh, now nah, his signature. Is fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Sure that is the lotto. That is the lotto. Did lot you get off Mike? I think Mike's right that. Yeah, Mike did it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's been off. It probably says that in the small print. You know yeah, what I mean? Mike Wells. <laughs> Mike Wells' signature. <laughs> we asked that, didn't we? If we sign something and, and CGC yeah, or see it, we asked that question, didn't we? No, we don't ask them, though. We ask each other. No, we don't. you don't talk about that publicly. It's private chat. Yeah, so... Getting into CGC stuff, uh, got a few omnibuses. I picked up that, uh, that's Jim Mint's fault. That's your fault, fucking Stephen. This one, oh, that God. one there. Infinity War. The big Infinity War one, that's your fault. And it's still sealed. Look, still not red. All your fault. Make sure you stretch out that spine. Oh, is that something he tells you to do? Yeah, he does it in all his videos. Yeah. Stretch out that spine. Yeah, if you take the piss out of him, he was mocking my fucking shaka, the bitch. I saw yeah. him do it. He did a really bad job of it. What am I talking about these? Yeah, you've... All right, so uh, I, I say these are Mondos, but they're not. They're sort of Mondo style. So I got the uh, Crow and uh, the Terminator Prince. Um, I, I've had a few of these from time to time, but yeah, the Superman one. That was, yeah, that is a Mondo. Yeah, that is Mondo. It was really Man's nice still. as well. And yeah. I've had the Lord of the Rings and a few other different ones. But for me, I wanted to sort of like try. I, I really am a huge movie buff as well. So if I had a room that was the same size as this somewhere else and my wife was a little bit more forgiving and gentle and nice i would probably have movie pieces all in there yeah. i would love to do that i'd love to have like a cinema room and and, and only movie pieces all around the place but well, that's uh, kind of where i tried to start but the problem with movie pieces is there they're not many there's not many of them no. and they don't continue lines no they just drop there's you. No, a lot of the really cool characters i really like, i really love these prints though they're quite contrasting mm. with the again with the ocds you got the I blues can't remember, and the, but this, the this reds. one is by someone yeah, um, they're all like numbered, and they're not very high. They're only a few, like hundred max. Someone does quote that, and someone also says that your sword's wrong. Yeah. On, on the last tour, oh, they should be up the other way around. On the last tour, they said something about your, your sword's wrong. It should be. Said. It should be that way around. It shouldn't be blade down. Yeah, that's one hundred percent correct. But the reason why I have it is I don't like it the other way around. Hmm. I don't like the way it looks the other way around, and it's on the knots as well. You know, up in yeah. the Japanese knots, so I don't really like that. It's my house. <laughs> right, okay. Can we go down? So we actually, I'll tell you what, we do the steel books first and then. Oh, well, okay. 
Where should I start with them? You still got that Venom thing. Oh, fuck, fucking well got rid of all mine. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, that's yours. You get that to me. Yeah, I can't. I don't get much from you, so what I do get, I keep. It's, it's the, it's the rules. Lie. It's the rules. Everything I'm giving you, you fucking got rid of. So, uh, yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm That's the stuff you don't want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still at that. Look, still at that, Gary. Look, see, there you are. Your little Thailand elephant, you me. See? I've got one in my fridge, yeah. And, uh, you know, Carlos Super Lobo sent me this. Do you think he'd send it to you now? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I love... I still love Carlos. I've got... No, I've never, you know... I, other, other, other part of the crew, not so much, but uh, Carlos is a lovely guy. Yes. And I, will, I, I've, I'm a big fan of him. Always will be. So nothing will change. Even though I, I got an issue with the grave robber guy. But other than that, you know, for me, um, been very fortunate to meet him a couple of times. Carlos is lovely, really nice. nice guy. Like, you know, when I get over to New York, you know, he, he's definitely someone I would uh, love to catch up with and have a drink with and have a chat. He definitely, he's a nice guy. See, uh, he's got a lovely husky as well. Looks, yeah, they're fucking crazy them dogs. But yeah, so yeah, I've got like still books. It's funny they're getting out of hand now. Yeah. They're getting out of hand over here, so I need to get another one of these. Yeah. Put it across, get either side because these are all full now. So yeah, I've got all the all the Marvel stuff. Just, Lots. Just start doing some Silver videos. Yeah, yeah. Got the old. I got all the Marvel gear and you know the Avengers Endgame stuff that was recently out. I got all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I got all the Marvel bits. I got some of the uh, the other stuff. I got that's a nice one. <laughs> I tried to watch Brightburn the other day. I fell asleep. It's nice. That's nice. Wicked film that is as well from Dread. Very very nice. That's that's, that's a Mondo um, still book. Yeah. Yeah, they do release them from time to time. So like all that. So I got all them type of films, you know. Just try. I've got a few uh, bits and pieces. I've got all the Star I had a few still book like DVDs, and they were scuffed after a very short man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, they, a lot of you know, like about thirty percent of my stuff is still sealed. Mm. You know, I've got like bits that you know come in, and I don't look, I don't get a chance. Look, Phoenix and Justin. X Men Phoenix. Still watching that as well. Yeah, I haven't. did you? Yeah, it's not a good sign. Battle Angel Elite. I still hasn't. Love that film. Still haven't. Still yeah. haven't watched it. Sealed. Love He'd that. Need to get off my ass and get things done. I got Brightburn on, over there. Quite long, but I do love it. Brightburn. So, I fell asleep watching. You're not selling these to me. It's making it sound no. bad. But right. yeah, all that, and I've got all the DC stuff over on this line. So for you DC fans over there, I've got all of that. I've got Watchmen and Aquaman, Wonder Woman stuff. Well, you didn't like Watchmen. Uh, they, yeah, not bad. I don't mind. Yeah. And all of these are sealed, so all the all the OG Batman stuff. So yeah, I I get them all in. This was a nice Superman set. Talking of Carlos, he's a big Superman fan. This is a nice Superman box mm. set. Thought that was quite nice and convenient. So yeah, got them all that sort of jazz. So yeah, big fan of all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Certainly, still book art movies anyway. Oh, the Red Titan Cube. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is the Sideshow Collectibles Thanos on Throne exclusive. And the, the Comiquette Silver Surfer, again, from Sideshow. And behind it is the custom pedestal um, Cosmic Cube um, thing, which... Uh, podium? Huh? Podium? Podium, yeah. Podio, podium pedestal, the same okay. sort of thing, isn't it? Uh, I think that's uh, Kenny Tan, isn't it? I think it's Kenny Tan. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Um, I got the I got the Silver Surfer comic kit um, from Tony Main, good guy. He's quite close by as well. I wouldn't advise anybody shipping this piece. I don't think it can survive it. The the package in the box is just lunacy, and the board is absolutely massive, and it's just sitting right through the middle of the box. I don't, you know, it's just not a very well constructed box. So I was quite lucky to be able to pick one up. I think Johnny's up. had three of them all broken. Same I place. wouldn't, I wouldn't say. Mine's broken it, in the same place. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, half of me going to see this, well, I checked that board thoroughly and then I took it in the car and I didn't even do the box up. I literally just put, put, put it in and sort of two halves and left it in the car and drove very gently home. Um, but yeah, that's the final cube in there. I've got a couple of coins and bits and pieces again. Um, I've got, got a friend of mine that sends me some nice coins every now and then. You know who you are, Shawnee boy. Um, and I've got the, uh, I think that's Annihilation comic. And I, I can't remember what that one is. I think that's Secret Wars in this corner. Yeah. Um, Secret Wars sketch. I've, no, that's the. I think that's the proper one. No, yeah, it's sketch. I've got the proper one, um, CGC 9.8. So Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope you like my room. Uh, sorry for its long rambling shit. You've got a lot of information. Hope, hopefully it's beneficial to you. Otherwise, we'll just put some music over the top if you don't want to hear me rambling on. Um, yeah, I've had pieces in this over the last six to eight months. 
and I've actually probably moved a lot of stuff. Stuff have come in and probably hasn't hit the mark for me long term and have been moved straight out. So that's probably why if there are pieces that you may think, well, where's this or where's that? That's why, um, you know, I, I have this sort of like month, six week turnaround where if, if something is just not hitting my spot, it's just like, yeah, I'm going to sell that. So everything's in place now. I got XM cable coming, uh, XM Cyclops to go in there and to Transformation Hulk and I'm going to have a unit built for them and the Red Hulk, but that's me done. So uh, I don't think there'll be many more in or out. So hope you enjoyed it and we'll see what happens in another six months. I might be eating these words. Thanks very much. Mad love. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for supporting me and Alex and uh, be good to each other. Peace. Peace. Peace.